Hey guys. All right. So for today's video, uh, what we're going to do is take this car to the dyno and see what it'll make. Uh, this is um, a Zex 125 shot uh, versus a Vortec V3 at 9 PSI. Um, <clears throat> side note, uh, last time I was at the dyno, uh, the car did not have, um, the long tube headers or the cam or the valve springs. Um, so make of that what you will, but to, so we'll get the dyno numbers then we'll take it to the track. Um, the dyno numbers will be interesting. Uh, the track will tell the rest of the story. Uh, another side note, so the dyno I'm going to is at Gen 3 Performance, it's uh, in Rainbow City, it's in Northeast Alabama, uh, it's a dyno jet, and um, we're not going to do any computer tuning, uh, it'll just be turning the distributor. So right now, um, I, I'm running the timing with the spout connector out, so the timing's locked out, there's no advance in it, um, and I'm running a Ford Motorsport um, RPM extender so it <clears throat> it'll, it'll let you rev past 6250 and it'll also allow you to dial in your um, wide open throttle um, air fuel ratio so that's basically I'm running you could say I'm running no tune but without that box this car wouldn't um, get down in the 11s on the air fuel so side note that's what's up it's a dyno jet and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, the first, so the first pull it made 344. Um, I was kind of expecting somewhere between 340 and 360. Um, so <clears throat> I was, you know, I was, you know, I was, I was okay with that. Um, I figured that's probably what it would have made, um, if I dynoed it again with the long tubes and the cam. So I was like, well, we're breaking even, you know, we're running about as good as we did with nitrous. Well, the guy that was running the dyno, Blake, uh, he said, uh, put three degrees of timing in it. So got out the timing light, turned the distributor made another pull. Um, I didn't get a video of that. It made, it put down uh, 379, I think. And I was like, whoa, man, it really woke up. It was really sensitive. Um, so, uh, all right, last pull. Like I said, it's not that exciting to watch, but we got this clip. It's also an AOD and it's, um, so, you know, take that in consideration as far as the dyno numbers. It'll be, uh, typically be less than a C5, um, but it's pushing through a 10 inch converter. It's a B and M 3000 and a Bauman shift kit. <laughs> All right, guys, so while we're at the dyno, this car showed up. He's trying to punk me out, you know, call me out, whatever. Um, that's actually, this is Denzel's car. Uh, we'll do a video on it. Uh, we should be running each other soon. We're actually, both of our cars are running and running good. So we should be racing soon. So been a lot of smack talk going back and forth, um, which is fun. 
Uh, we'll see. We'll see who comes out. You know, the champ. Um, to be honest, I think. Um, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna get them, but uh, I don't think I'll hold them off for very long. I think I might get a couple cheap shots in, and once he gets uh, <clears throat> get some seat time, he's gonna get me. What's up, guys? On this episode of FOMO Bros, we get a barn find. If you stick it in a barn, it's a barn find. Thus, it's worth more. JK. Uh, it's Thursday, uh, section. Sand Mountain Dragway is open today, test and tune. Uh, we're going to get ready to go up there. Uh, before I go up there, we've got to um, adjust the left side brakes in the rear. They're locking up and getting hot, and uh, that's going to cost us some ET. So I'm going to pull it off the trailer real quick, adjust the brakes, and uh, see if we can keep it from dragging so bad. Denzel came by with these beauties. Uh, these are 28s. Uh, actually, I had these tires at one point. Tally had these tires at one point. Denzel's got them. Now I got them back for now. Uh, we may try a 28-inch tire tonight. Um, I'm going to take a hammer with me so we can beat the fenders if we have to. Um, but we're going to, I think we're going to start on 26s. All right, guys. Well, we went to the track. We made it up there. Um, it was actually a school night, and I had my daughter with me. It's an hour drive up there, hour drive back obviously but uh it was thursday night um denzel ended up going with me too uh he had both of his little guys with him so um we we didn't stay long um i have to look at the time slips i may have been there 40 minutes but uh like i said I drove up there got off the trailer made two passes right off the bat let it cool down did a third one loaded it up and tried to get my daughter home in time so she wouldn't be uh out too late on a school night but uh, we had a good time. I got to thank Denzel. We got two short clips. Um, very short because the car's so quick. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, two short clips of the car making it down the track. Uh, first pass and third pass, I believe. Uh, so we'll show you that. Hey, let me let me show y'all something else, though. This is pretty cool. There we go. Here, let me get the strings out of the way. Bam. Back to the track. Uh, so... Uh, my brother Brian, uh, my uh, the brother with the T top eighty seven, yeah eighty seven. Uh, he he made he designed it and sent it to me. So thank you for that. We did go back to the track, and uh, you know he's a big Back to the Future fan. So uh, we tried to set the tires on fire. Um, speaking of that, the first burnout I did, um, the car died in the burnout. And I was like, it made an awful sound, and it died. And the guy that was running the tree kind of stuck his head down and looked under my car. <clears throat> Guys, my heart hit my feet. I was like, oh, my gosh, I killed it in the burnout box. What had happened was uh, the discharge pipe coming off the... Oh. What had happened was the discharge pipe coming off the supercharger had blown off the throttle body. So... Thank goodness. So I got out, uh, digging in my pocket, see if I could find me a dime and tighten up the screws. Anyways, dude come up with a screwdriver, got it tightened up, did another burnout and uh, lined up. And um, here's a clip from that. Uh, I'll show you that. And then, um, yeah. We'll take a look at the time slips. Let me show you how long I was at the track. Uh, first pass at 7.15, second pass at 7.18, uh, third pass at 7.32, and I put it on the trailer. Like I said, it was a school night, so uh, we had to be quick. My uh, first pass uh, went 177 to the 60, uh, 7.34 with a 3 at 98.55. Like I said, my eyebrows were up that whole pass. Uh, felt good. Uh, surprisingly good. Um, second pass. Um, let's see. This one I left off of idle. Uh, this one I foot braked it a little bit and it didn't like it. 
I went 181, 740, but the mile per hour was higher. Um, and then I let it cool off for just a few minutes, 718 to 732. Um, went around, uh, went 169, uh, you know, better 60 foot, and then 736 at 98.14. Um, definitely a good night. Definitely a good night, you know, first trip to the track since the blower was installed. Uh, so after thinking about it and like, you know, I do want to make more power. I think it's got more in it. Um, the, the couple things I'd like to do before I change the pulley, um, and I won't do that until I get a good transmission. Um, but uh, I was thinking if I go to a three inch exhaust, um, right now I've got a three inch collector that, that chokes or doesn't choke down. It's a real smooth transition down to two and a half. But if I, uh, step it up to three inch, um, I think that would help. It'd breathe a little easier. And, um, I've also got a set of one seven roller rockers. I haven't put back on yet. So I think between the rocker arms and the three inch exhaust, it'll break 400 just like it is. So. As far as more horsepower in the future, I think those are my two, uh, the two avenues I'll take is three inch exhaust and roller rockers. And then maybe we'll go back and see how it does. Well, all right, guys. Um, I think it's going to wrap it up. Uh, definitely a first, uh, a good first trip to the track. Uh, for my birthday, my brother got me this. Boom. Look at that. Perfect hat. Bomb pop racing. Uh, he's got some really cool designs. Um, art's always been kind of a thing for him. Um, so anyways, uh, I got to thank him for the hat and the hoodie. Um, uh, check out, check out our stuff in the link. Uh, Brian's got a lot of designs, a lot of cool stuff. You know, if you're not, uh, down with the FOMO Road brand, that's okay. That's fine. But he's got a lot of stuff. I mean, you can kind of customize it and make it your own. So check it out. But anyways, um, I got to beat up some fenders a little bit, uh, put some 28s on it and go back. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully, um, with the 28s, I won't be on the rev limiter, uh, going through the lights. Um, and hopefully the transmission will hold up a little longer. Um, fingers crossed. 28s, um, will help me with the gears, but uh, it's not going to spin like it did before. So that's going to put a little more strain on the old AOD. So I'll cross my fingers and maybe y'all will too. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. Um, hopefully get this thing back to the track real soon and, um, and get a little more out of it. Anyways, we'll see y'all later.